And what we have to do is be realistic, and that is that unless we're a monk living in some mountains somewhere, and someone's paying our bills and our mortgage or whatever it is, we are going to experience stress. And it's unnatural to think that we're always going to live in this kind of always calm state. Because throughout the day, your nervous system is fluctuating. It's up and down, up and down. Hello and welcome back. Now, just before we get started, as always, if you're watching this on the Total Somatics YouTube channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the notification bell. So whenever an episode is released, you find out very, very quickly. So we're into the third episode of Somatic in September. So thank you so much for all your feedback, all your comments. Um, again, continue this practice on a regular basis because every time you do it, you're going to discover even more releasing, uh, even more eureka moments. It's going to start to explain a lot more about your patterns of movement, your behavior, all those sorts of things. So what I want to do today is, again, if you're new to this episode in the show notes, of either the audio of the podcast or the YouTube channel with Total Somatics, you will find, I'm holding it up to the camera now, is a sheet called Reconnect. And if you go to the show notes, you'll see there's a PDF and you can click on that, you can print it off, stick it on your wall, and you can see the white markers down the side. So that's for you just to write notes and also put those resources in. So just to reiterate again, last the last resource was totalsomatics.com forward slash gift. And that was the 33 minute movement session. But let us consider today two other boxes that we've got here. Well, there's three actually. So I'll be bringing the third one out towards the end. But the two that I want to mention, first of all, is breathing and also quieting or quiet your mind. So let's have a look. First of all, the box for breathing says regular, deep, slow belly breathing calms down your nervous system. Notice how you feel after 10 long, deep breaths. So you may have already been trying this if you've printed this out. And I'd love to know, you can put the comments below if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, what you've been feeling as a result of that. But let's go back to the next box just below breathing. And it says, quiet your mind. It says, reduce stimulation during your day. Go for a walk without your phone. Switch notifications off your devices and embrace silence. So anyone that knows me personally knows that I have two phones, one for work, one for personal, and they are always on silent and I don't even have the vibrate on and I turn off all the notifications um, so they don't even come up on my watch when I've got my watch on. So that's how much I do not want to be a slave to technology. It has its place and I need to use it for work and personal use but it stays quiet. So I can't even tell you what my ringtone sounds like, uh, but that's how important it is to me that I want to keep a nice, quiet, centered and balanced nervous system. Every time you get those notifications, it heightens, it ramps up your nervous system. It's designed, you know, even with all the social media notifications, it's designed to get you wanting more, that dopamine high, that rush. So we can become an addict to our phones, irrespective of age groups. It's not all about the children, which people said all age groups can have that addictive pattern towards the phone. So it's just being mindful of that. And I share that with you because if we're considering that this leaflet or this handout is called reconnect, it's because again, when we get into stress cycles, when we get into a, like a hamster's wheel, we're just on the go all the time. What happens is we do disconnect. We are just living in our head. It's like a survival mechanism. We're no longer noticing what's happening in our body. And so what will happen is you can have sickness and you can have deadlines and pressure and family dynamics and responsibilities, all sorts of things which will really hammer in and cause a lot of pressure to your nervous system. And what we have to do is be realistic. And that is that unless we're a monk living in some mountains somewhere and someone's paying our bills and our mortgage or whatever it is, we are going to experience stress. And it's unnatural to think that we're always going to live in this kind of always calm state because throughout the day your nervous system is fluctuating it's up and down up and down but what we want to do is develop the skill of allowing ourselves to come back into a state of balance quicker and that is where the resilience and the flexibility within our nervous system lies we need those stress responses it helps us perform when we're doing exams or doing talks or whatever it is 
but then we want to be able to calm down when we come to sit on a park bench and enjoy the birds and eat our lunch, you know, that sort of thing. So we have a flexible and resilient nervous system, or that's what we're wanting to do. And that's why you're here for, for somatic in September to truly harness those skills because we can get them, we can develop them at any time. So I want us to consider that the first thing that can be impacted and the first thing that we can do to regulate our nervous system is noticing our breathing. So I just want to share this with you that you might go, well, why didn't you mention this in the previous episode? Well, the reason is I wanted you to start working through those 33 minute movement sessions, because what we need to do is release the rigidity in your ribs because breathing is really important. But what comes with breathing is when it's dysregulated, when it's not, when we're not breathing so deeply, we can feel like in a sense, our rib cage is almost like a figurative prison cell. We are locked and hunkered down and tight. So no amount of the most wonderful breathing techniques you can do, if your rib cage is hunkered down and rigid, we're not going to benefit from really good breathing techniques. And so that's why I've put this after the movement session, because I wanted you to spend the week just softening and releasing through your shoulders, through your ribs, across your chest, releasing that diagonal of your opposite hip to shoulder, which is going to help with rotation and twisting and shock absorbency. When we've got that, now when we bring the breathing in, it's going to work beautifully and you're going to get so many more benefits as a result. Because breathing, as I mentioned, is one of the first things we can notice when we're going into a stress response. I don't know about you, but I can feel it. You feel like you're tight in your chest. Maybe you notice that when you're talking, you're breathing and you're, uh, and you're kind of catching your breath. You know, it's that like this. And it's just you're more sucking that air in than breathing it out. And of course, when we suck the air in, we are dialing up the stress center. When we exhale, we are bringing our nervous system down. We're calming it. So notice that when you get anxious, it's more like gasping and drawing those breaths in. So again, that's why we're going to look at, we've got our movement session, but we're going to look at your breathing too. Because when we can bring your nervous system down into that state of balance, that really helps us then go back into using parts of our brain that helps us with focus, awareness, curiosity, concentration, decision making, and emotional intelligence. We respond rather than react to things because when we regulate our nervous system with our breath work, that's where the power lies. And so can you see the movement first? Let's get your ribs to move beautifully, swinging out, coming back in. So now when we add your breathing into it, it's just natural that this wants to happen. So I'm going to share with you a resource today that's going to help with your breathing, but not just your breathing. It's going to accelerate and get you back into a state of balance because it involves eye movement. And the thing is about 70% of your body's energy and effort is used on your eye muscles. So when you're highly stressed, your dear eye muscles are taking a lot of that pressure. You know, if you're looking at a computer all day, that's a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, a lot of tension. And the tension in your eye muscles would dictate tension in your jaw and into your neck. And then can you see that crossover because your neck muscles are attaching to your rib cage. And if your neck muscles are tight and they're rigid, rigid on your rib cage, it also has that flow on effect to affect the depth and quality of your breathing. So this research resource is going to really help you come back into a state of balance. And it's about 10 minutes. And I use this for clients when they come in and they feel like they're having an anxiety attack or they're feeling incredibly overwhelmed and stressed. Or I can tell that they're still in a stress response. They've come in, they've had people cutting them up in the traffic. They've had a really full on difficult day for whatever reason. And I think I need their nervous system to be receptive to this work. And so I will do this session with them, the eye movement and breathing just to ground them and change the parts of their brain that are going to be working with me for that point in that session. So if you've got a pen and paper ready, maybe write it in the margin of this reconnect sheet. But if you go to totalsomatics.com forward slash regulate, that's totalsomatics.com forward slash regulate. 
And even if you know of these resources and you've used them before, please go back to them. Keep going back to them and using them because they are really powerful. And remember, our SOMA exists in time. Whatever you've done in the past with these resources really helped then. But how you are today is different to however you were the last time you used them, maybe a year ago or six months ago, six days ago. So keep meeting your SOMA where you are at. Because again, whatever happened yesterday had an impact on your body and on your nervous system and on your SOMA as a whole. And then whatever happens tomorrow will also have a different effect. So we want to use this as like a recalibration or like a, a software reset, it's just like you would do with your mobile phone or with your computers. You do this on a regular basis to just clear out any of those glitches and those viruses. And if things are running slowly, we just do a little upgrade or a, a little software update. And that's what these, these resources are about. And that's what this whole session is about, these next few weeks of Somatic in September. So I promised you that there was a third box that we were going to cover before we finish today. So if we have a look at our box, what I'd love you to do is when you've done your 10 minute session, so just start creating time in your day for this. I would love you to go to the box that says sensory experiences and it says feel the sun or wind on your face. Take a bath, use essential oils, walk in nature, enjoy a massage. Oh, it's tough work, and it's tough work having to do all this. <laughs> so basically what I want you to do is see how you can really add on that self-care, that nurturing. So whatever you decide to do here, can you see how we're continuing on that self-care? And that is doing that 10 minutes. Maybe you, you do, maybe you want to do the, the um, movement session, you know, 33 minute movement session and do the 10 minutes at the end and then finish off with a soak in the bath, you know, so you've got this whole ritual that you've created. And the reason I share the sensory experiences is it's really common for people to put aside time. And then, you know, I hear people do this all the time. They might go to a particular type of relaxation class. They've raced themselves to get there. They've relaxed for an hour, they jump up and they go back to what they were doing before. And that is life. It is full on like that. But what it's doing is it's taking you like up and down, up and down like this with your nervous system. So what we want to do is just we know that we're going to fluctuate. But can we make those peaks and troughs a little bit smaller so that we come back into that state of balance or that equilibrium? And so that's why with the sensory experiences, what could it be? Maybe it is a soak in the bath and afterwards you just put your face cream on and feel your hands just massaging on your face. Maybe put some little bit of lavender on your pulse points or whatever it is. If you can, I love candles when I'm having a bath, you know, anything like that, just to have those rituals of self-care. And what that will do is start to connect us. It reconnects us so that we are truly or totally somatic. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And again, as always, leave the comments below on what has been your takeaway points, what you felt has benefited so far with these resources. And as always, if you want to join me, which I'll open at the end of the month, um, the Total Somatics online membership, if you go to totalsomatics.com, click on the join now page and you get the opportunity to leave your details on the wait list. And whenever, which will be at the end of the month, whenever I open those membership doors, I will let you know. And then you can come on in because we'll only be opening them for a few days. Then we close them and then fully focus on the total somatics members. So it's been a very interesting episode today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, keep in touch with me. I love hearing from you. It's so rewarding, so lovely. Um, wherever we are in the world, we're still connected. So that's what's really nice. And I'm going to love you and leave you. And I will see you next time. So take care. Bye. Thank you for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a rating and also forward this on to somebody you know will benefit. To learn more about pain relief, plus how to improve your health and well-being, go to totalsomatics.com. Until next time, take care.